All right. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukakudash. Double unto the apostles and the LGMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers and peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful lake out there, pushing the word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, pushing to get up out of here. Shout out to the hopeful lake, the believers, the listeners that have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, I just want to come with a quick listen, you know, responding, you know, to this um thing about calling Esau E, you know, putting it in the titles, you know, referring to him as E. Now, you know, Jake make a big deal out of it, you know, Jake try to cause division, you know, Jake, you know, complaining and, you know, making all these, you know, accusations as his brothers are, you know, fearful, brothers taken from the word, you know, just blowing, you know, things out of proportion. You know, at the end of the day, you know, they're just another, you know, behavior, all right, of nigger culture, of black culture, all right? Because when you go into black culture where everyone has a low self-esteem, everyone is insecure, all right, Jake gets off, you know, on putting other people down to lift himself up, you know, that, that gives him some type of stripes, you know, that gives him some type of honor and glory, you know, amongst you know, black culture, nigga culture, you know, and Jake calls himself teachers and leaders of Israel still, you know, have a heavy influence of black culture, you know, within their mind frame. And it shows, you know, um, you know, uh, how they teach, how they move, you know, and the things that they just, you know, make a big deal out of. All right. Now, when you go to Matthew 10 to 16, all right, this is what the scripture tell us. Um, Matthew 10 to 16 says, behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves be you therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves now if you are wise as a serpent all right you have to be shrewd you have to be crafty you know the scriptures say you go into that uh all right go to that word in the greek is office all right which is um snake serpent all right because you go back into the time you know, the serpent in the garden where he was very crafty on the left hand side where we're supposed to be crafty on the right hand side. All right. Because wasn't, you know, the, 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 the snake that was lifted up in the wilderness to the children of Israel. All right. Wasn't there the serpent on there? You know, because Yahweh Shai has the ultimate wisdom. He's the ultimate craftiness in the earth, but it's on the right hand side. All right. That's why he spoke in parables. He didn't want everyone to get it. You see, but he will break it down, you know, to, you know, to the, his apostles represent what the elect. All right. So uh, 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 when you talk about, you know, being sharp, because it says um, probably from um, G3700 said through the idea of sharpness of vision, you see, because there's a certain sharpness, there's a certain subtility. All right. All right. There's a certain subtility. That we had to have within this ministry, which goes back to the serpent. All right, and he says, "Uh, be ye therefore wise as serpent as harmless as dove." See, Jake, you know, going back to black culture, you know, where it's glorified to be this hoorah, you know, he man, where you just spill all your thoughts out, you know, where you just tell everything that you feel and everything that you think, you know, like the scriptures say. Now, family, get it. All right. You know, this is a spiritual war, all right? And we have to counter, all right? When it, when you're in war, you counter your opponent, all right? When he makes a move, you counter that move. And we know Esau had this algorithm going, so we're countering, all right, his algorithm, you know, with particular things. And eventually, we know the whole thing going to be shut down. We know the famine of the word. When Esau amped up, you know, his whole agenda, of um giving brother scrites taking down pages taking down videos you know brothers you know went into the famine of the word we know these things are going to happen man you see but why the internet is still up you know it will be wise for us to use subtility man all right this is a spiritual war this is a war on uh information man all right so within this war you know we're going to do all we can to stay afloat until this thing is completely shut down all right, um, what's that? Um, here 
here you go. This is Rock 21 and 26. It says, the heart of fools is in their mouth, but the mouth of the wise is in their heart. Yeah. You see, black culture is big on you, you know, just spewing out how you feel your emotions and, you know, spewing out everything that's within your mind. You know, black culture is fueled off that. That's what it's centered around. You know, you heard what such and such said about him. You heard what such and such said about her. You know, to make these big, you know, offensive statements, you know, against one another. You know, whoever can be the most offensive, you know, that's the most glorified, man. You know, that's black culture, man. You know, this is a spiritual warfare at the highest level. You know, we don't move like that, man. You see, there's a particular way that we move. All right. And it says the heart of the fool is in their mouth, but the mouth of the wise is in their heart, man. And the Lord instructed us to be wise, man. All right. You ain't got to tell every single thing that you know on camera. You know, there's particular things that are said, you know, to edify, you know, and then brothers answer all questions on comment board. If someone asks the question who was E was, we can answer. All right. Who is E? You know, we'll answer. We'll answer on the comment board. And tell them why we say E, you know. But Jake, you know, that's another thing with black culture is, you know, they trying to, when, when they see you progressing, you know, they examine you to find a flaw so they can tear you down, man. You see? That's that's another trait of black culture, man. You know, so uh, Jake doing good, you know, Jake, you know, don't get in trouble, Jake, you know, Jake uh, 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 seem like he, you know, got some structure by himself. Jake will sit around, you know, and find the flaw just so they can try to tear you down, man. You know? And that's all Jake doing, man. It has nothing to do with edification. You know, Jake is not some super tough guy, you know, as they push. You know, it's just all, all right, of the purpose to try to uh, tear down, man. You know? So, let's get an example. Well, first, let's get this in, um, and um, Sirach, man, because the scriptures, I mean, uh, Proverbs, because the scriptures, you know, have made us wide and gave us subtlety, man. All right, this is on um, Proverbs 1 and 2. It says, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity, to give subtlety to the simple, to the young men, knowledge and discretion. Yeah, man, because we were once simple. You know, before we came into this ministry, man. But the ministry has made us, has gave us subtlety, has gave us layers, man. We know how to maneuver, you know, doing videos. We know how to maneuver in our day to day. All right. We know how to, you know, keep people at bay, you know, keep people guessing and wondering, you know, keep them, you know, off balance and trying to figure us out. You see, we know how to move like that. We're not moving simple, you know, the whole earth. Know exactly everything you know. Know everything that you about. You see, that's not uh subtlety. That's not wisdom, man. That's being very simple, man. And Jake still has a very simple mentality, man. All right. And it says a wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels, man. You see. So it's all about increasing. You know. Uh, uh, in wisdom and learning and understanding and knowing how to operate and maneuver see we had like i say it's a high level spiritual warfare man you know and like i say we not in love with these channels man but you have uh believers they'll subscribe to these channels man all right and esau makes it hard for you to subscribe you know to new channels you know he blocks you know different um, um um live screens and he does all these things so we try to preserve these channels while we can you know that we already have a foundation built you know and we you know we push to get to a thousand subscribers to so we make it convenient to go live but we don't have to use all these different apps you know that give us problems man you see but it ain't about you know we trying to get as many subscribers as we can or you know, we just in love with these channels, trying to spare the channels. You know, we do that for the elect's sake, man. The scripture tell us to endure all things for the elect's sake. So if we have to use subtlety in the titles, you know, subtilities when we speaking about different agendas of Esau, Edom, then that's what we have to do for the elect's sake, man. All right. And if you are tuned in, if you are an everyday listener, all right, you know exactly what we're talking about. You're hip to the lingo, man. And if you don't ask the question on the comment, boy, we can answer it, man. 
No big deal. Jake like to make a, a huge issue out of nothing, man. You see? All right, so let's, you know, go to an account right in the book of Judges, you know, dealing with using subtlety, you know, real time. All right? Because at the end of the day, all right, we have to understand, you know, there's a particular way that we move within this ministry. We have been brought upon the level, you know. So let's um deal with Judges, the 16th chapter. All right, and start at the 25th verse, you know, just to sum up the story. You know, this is um dealing with Samson. And, uh, you know, as we all should know, you know, Samson, you know, was a mighty man. You know, he had super strength. You know, when the spirit of the Lord would be upon him, you know, he was a, uh, a chief adversary to the Philistines. Now, his wife, you know, seduced him, you know, to tell the secret of his strength, you know, which was his hair, you know, because he was a Nazarene, you know, and his vow, you know, had him close to Yahweh Bashim al where he was enabled, you know, with that power. All right, so uh eventually you know she, he told the secret you know his hair was cut the philistines conquered him they you know they took his eyes out you know they had him in prison so now the philistines are feasting you know they're drunken they're being merry you know and that's what we're going to pick up in the store but we're going to concentrate on the subtlety all right of um of samson all right now um this is judges 16 and 25 and it came to pass when their hearts were merry that they said call for samson that he may make a sport and they called for Samson out of the prison house and he made them sport and they set him between the pillars yeah so they was making sport of him you know uh, you know making they were feasting you know celebrating you know taking down you know Samson you know uh, feasting to their God you know so you know they was making mockery of him making sport of him you know and it says <clears throat> and Samson said unto the lad that held him by the hand suffer me all right and this is what samson is going to utilize subtlety all right suffer me that i may feel uh the pillars were upon the house standard that i may lean upon them all right so uh, uh you could tell he was using sub subtlety because why would he want to be by the pillars where the house standard understand he was already you know, they brought him by the pillars. So he was already resting upon the pillars. You see? But why did he want to go to the pillars that, uh, uh, where the foundation of the house was, man? <laughs> you see? So he was already utilizing subtlety then. All right? With this young lad. All right? And then it says, Now the house was full of men and women, and all the lords of the Philistines were there. And there were upon the roof about 3,000 men and women that beheld Samson. Um, that beheld while Samson um, made sport. And Samson called unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, and said, O Lord, power, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once, O power, that I may be uh, at once avenged of the Philistine for my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood, and on which it was borne up of the one with the right hand. And of the other with his left hand. So now he's all right between these two pillars that hold up this house, man. All right, that the house is set upon. You see, it says, and Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself with all his might. And and the house fell upon the lords and upon all the people that were therein. So the dead which he slew at his death were more than they uh, which he slew in his life. Yeah, and how, how was he able to be in that position to do that, all right, through subtlety, you know? He didn't speak his whole mind, his old, whole intentions, what he planned on doing, you know? He spoke in subtlety, all right, and he already had in mind what he was going to do, you know? But he had to get himself in a position to do that, all right? So when you see videos get put up with the title of just E, you know, referring to Esau as E, well, they're just a, a way to get into a point where the video can be put up, it can stay up, and the edification can go out. You see, because the upbuilding of our people is the downfall of Esau Edom. All right? So there's going to be instances where we're going to have to utilize subtlety, man. 
All right. There is nothing cowardice about it. All right. There's nothing scary about that. Like I say, that all goes to black. All right. Nigga culture, man. That mind state, man. You know. So at the end of the day, you know, like I say, hey, we here for the for the edification of the body, for the building up of the church. You know. And we, and we here, you know, to uh, uh, utilize, all right, the wisdom we was given, the subtlety that we was given, all right? So you, if it's Jacob's trouble, you know, and then the Esau is entreating you, you know, and the Edomite is entreating you, and the Lord put the street on the Edomite, you know, to have favor on you in certain circumstances, you're going to blurt out and say, you an Edomite, you going to slavery, you know, and then your family starve because... You know, you you have this mindset that your whole heart, your whole mind needs to be put on the forefront in every situation that you in. You know? No, man. You see, we're going to utilize subtlety and wisdom and apply it. Have a discernment of spirits, man. Discernment of the time. Discernment of when, man. You know, and how. You see? So, that's the point. You know, I hope you brothers and a few sisters edified to the next time. Shout out